you say yin, yang, yang, yang. You're going to hear me talking about spoken word, performance poetry, oral poetry, poetry, uh, song, storytelling, stand-up. This is also a people's history, right? We're going to be looking at how people have used this art form to challenge power and also to galvanise their own power. A mass declamation. You're at a rally, you're at a protest. Someone's handing out uh, little pamphlets, leaflets, and on that leaflet is a poem. Everybody's got the same leaflet and the same poem, and you all perform the poem en masse together. And my work in education, and a lot of what I've kind of learning from this display of information, I'm going to try to take back into education. I will particularly be taking away the motivation to carry on writing myself but also helping inspire the community around me. The whole 60s countercultural revolution, dropping out, growing your hair long, doing your own thing, experimenting with hallucinogenic drugs, experimenting with Eastern spirituality, all of these things were seeded in the words and the performances of the poets throughout history. To hear such a well-researched and well-presented sort of history in the space of an hour um, on spoken word really opened my eyes and in fact makes me want to go back and do a bit more of my homework. And I'm looking at everybody in the room here because nobody is a spectator, everybody is a participant, right? This belongs to you, this, cu this cultural equipment belongs to you, right? So the question is now, what are we going to do with it? Can I get an hallelujah? Can I get a praise the Lord?